I matched up with Simon back in January 2018 on Tinder. It was like this instant connection I felt. And then we met up for a coffee date in London the day after. And my first impression of him was that he was charismatic, he looked like his pictures, and he just had something about him that made me drawn to him. He was really open about his business and his personal life, and after like 45 minutes, he invited me on a business trip to uh, Bulgaria, and that was going to be on a private jet. Like part of the team that I met was the daughter and the baby's mother. And she was so thankful for Simon. Like she says that like, we're not together anymore, but he takes really good care of his daughter. That made me trust him even more. Simon presented himself as the CEO of LD Diamonds. So when it came to romantic relationships, which is really difficult for him, that he was trying to find the one and he wanted to settle down, but you needed to understand the position that he was in if you were gonna be with him. Kisses, miss you. Seeing that he was this kind of like a lone wolf or kind of like he felt really sometimes a bit sad because there is a lot of fakeness that was surrounding him. So I think that as well made me kind of feel that I wanted to save him too. He said that we had something special. He remembers everything, you know, all the small details. Sending the flowers to my door, you know, with a cute little note. Simon is always really good at putting you into his future, that he sees you as his future girlfriend, you know, and when you're the girlfriend, he sees you as his future wife, and he wants to have kids with you, and it's like, it's all these grand gestures and thoughts. And that's what he does, he makes you feel really special. Well, Cecilia, when you look back at this, with the benefit of 2020 hindsight, you, you seem like you're deconstructing it and recognizing his technique. Oh my God, and I had to, you know? Uh, you're reflecting so much, because you're, of course, you're blaming yourself, and it's the shame and kind of the guilt that you're putting on. So of course, I had to go back several times and had to go through in detail the WhatsApp and all the conversations, all the people I met, you know, to understand. Yeah, he came on as totally what he was projecting. He dressed, he played the part, private jets, Rolls Royce. He claimed that he was the CEO of LLD, the mm. Levive group of companies, right? And this all had yes. to do with diamonds. Yes. But he now claims he never said that. Yeah. We have proof otherwise. Now, when you first met him, mm. you agreed to travel with him right away. Yeah. You went to Bulgaria? Yeah, four hours on a on a plane, three, three, four hours. Yeah, did that worry you? Oh, like hindsight, yeah. Again, uh, something maybe not everyone would have, but I was the kind of person, I was just writing my master thesis, I had the time, and he introduced me to the entire team with several people, and it was like officials, like, you know, having to check the passports, and yeah, you were just thinking that. Yeah, so there was a trail. Yeah. Okay, and at one point, before you went, he had one of his drivers take you to your apartment to pack mm. in a Rolls Royce. Yeah. How much of this for you was an emotion for him and how much of it was being starry-eyed over the lifestyle? I, I think it's difficult to say because I wasn't with him. I wasn't traveling. I got the private jet trip <laughs> and then I ended up seeing him in Amsterdam and being in his apartment there. So. I didn't travel around with him during all these months when things were going on. I was trying, I was not in that position. Yeah, but that certainly played into you feeling comfortable loaning him money. They go a bit hand in hand, uh, yeah. the situation he was in. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.